guys welcome back to my channel in this video i show you how i created this makeup look and i did use the brand new bh cosmetics by daisy marquez eyeshadow palette on my eyes and i was so 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 excited about this palette i've been waiting for this to arrive i've just been tracking it like every minute of the day and it finally arrived yesterday so i was so excited to play with it today and i created this look here i do kind of feel like i should have done something a bit more creative but I was planning on doing something else and then I didn't end up doing that so you'll find that during this video. But yeah, I'm so excited to continue using this palette. I'm so impressed with it. If you want to hear my complete review on it, stay tuned to the end of the video. And yeah, I really hope you guys like this makeup look and video. And if you do like it, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe down below if you are new to my channel. And make sure you follow me on my Instagram and all my other socials. And yeah, with all that being said, let's just jump straight into the tutorial. Alright, so as you can see, I've already done my brows and prepped my eyes. I just used some Colourpop brow products and just prepped my eyes using the P. Louise base in the shade Rumor 0.5 and I just patted it in using the Morphe M224 brush just to pat it in. So for today's look I'm so so excited to be using the new BH Cosmetics by Daisy Marquez eyeshadow palette like first of all I love the way this opens the mirror just literally detaches and I'm sure you guys have already seen this but and then you can pop it in the palette like this and then have it as like a vanity kind of thing which I think is amazing because sometimes the cover can get annoying especially when filming tutorials and then you're trying to show what products you're using especially like with the James Charles palette because it's such a big palette the cover is like so annoying to hold just the whole palette in general it's just really annoying because it's so big and I love that this you can completely detach it and it's great for traveling because then you just have like how oh, vanity. My voice sounds a bit croaky at the moment. My throat is like super dry right now. So sorry about that. But these shadows seriously look amazing. You've got the shimmers at the bottom and mattes at the top. And in her video she was saying like how she's got them all like separated into separate categories kind of thing. Which was really cool. So check out her video if you want a more in-depth explanation about the shades and stuff. But yeah, I'm so excited to be jumping to this tutorial. I've had so many amazing things about this palette. And I haven't used BH Cosmetics since like the first Kylie Barbell eyeshadow palette, so which was like 2014. So I'm really excited right now. So I'm going to be doing like a cut crease kind of situation with like a wing liner, but the shadow in the wing liner kind of thing. Never done that before, so let's see how we go. So before I jump into the eye look, I'm just going to buff out the crease as it does crease a little bit before you start applying some shadows and now I'm going to be going in with this beautiful deep burgundy shade bittersweet using the Morphe M456 brush and I'm just going to pat that into my outer V and into my crease you can already see just how pigmented these shadows are wow I can love how dark this shadow is Now I'm going in with this neutral brown shade Vintage, it looks like such a pretty crease shade and that's exactly where I'm going to put it into my crease using my Morphe M441 brush. I'm going to like dab it in but also blend it in with that bittersweet shade that I had just applied. I'm just going to go in with the last brush and no additional shadow just to help blend the two shades together. And I'm just going to go back in with bittersweet and just reapply it and blend it out in the exact same spots I applied earlier so just in my outer V and into my crease now going back in with the crease brush but no additional shadow just to blend the two shades together and now with this I'm actually going to do things a little bit different so I'm just going to blend out this shadow just a little bit before going with the crease shade vintage just so they're a bit easier to blend together now I'm going back in with the crease shade Vintage and my fluffy M441 brush and see it just blended in easier and quicker than this eye because I didn't blend out that deep purple burgundy plum kind of shade first before applying the crease shade. Now just going back in with a little bit of the first shade Bittersweet just to darken up the crease again a little bit just because as you're blending the shadows can disappear a little bit so it's always good to reapply them as you're blending just so you can get the really dark pigmentation that you want. I'm obsessed. 
test. And I'm just going back in with my crease brush just to blend it together, but I'm not using any additional shadow. Just trying to get that seamless blend. And just like, look at how good that blend is right now. Now for my transition shade, I'm just going to go in with this light neutral brown shade called Dulce. And I'm just going to apply above the crease shade and blend it in with the crease shade Vintage using the Morphe E23 brush. Now back in with my crease brush, the Morphe M441, I'm going back into the crease shade Vintage and just reapplying it just to blend everything together. But so far, look at how perfectly blended these shadows are. Like it looks so good and I'm loving these tones. And I'm just blending like circular motions. And now just going back in with my Morphe E23 brush with no additional shadow just to blend the shadows together for a final time or well, for now anyway. Alright, so now it's time to cut the crease. So I'm going to be using my P. Louise base in the shade Aruma Zero because I want the lid shade to stand out as much as possible because I am going to be applying a white shadow. So I'm just going to apply some to the back of my hand and use the Morphe M224 brush to cut my crease. And I'm just going slightly above my crease because I do have wooded eyes. And if you guys watch my channel, you already know that I always do that. Okay, so now that I've got the outline, I'm just going to go in with a makeup wipe and just clean up my lid. Feel free to use a micellar water with like a Q-tip or something if you want to be more precise, but I know, I just always use a makeup wipe. What this does is just really get rid of that dark eyeshadow from your eyes. So again, to really make the lid shade pop and stand out more. And now what I'm going to do is just reapply that white P. Louise primer to my inner half of my lid. And just here at the end, I go in with my ring finger just to tap and blend it together with the shadow. But we'll further be blending it anyway in a little bit. Okay, now that that is done, I'm going in with this Morphe M124 brush. And I'm just going to go in with this nude shade Naked just to set the lid. Because last time I set my cut crease, my shimmer, I only transferred a tiny bit on one eye and didn't even transfer on the other. Whereas last time I cut my crease and I didn't set the primer and the put shim straight on, it transferred quite a bit. So hoping that this will prevent it again. I'm only going to go in with a really light layer. So now for the lid shade, I'm going to be going in with this shimmery white shade called Icy. And I'm just going to be spraying my little brush with MAC Fix Plus. This is the Morphe X Jaclyn Hill JH42 brush. And then I'm going to apply it to my lids. And then when I get to the end here where it meets with the matte shadow, I'm just going to tap it so it blends in more seamlessly. And then I'm going to be going back and forth between shades in a little bit. Just gonna go in with my ring finger real quick. I feel like the ring finger always helps to make such a seamless blend. Now going back in with the first brush I used, which is the Morphe M456 brush. I'm going to dip into the shade Vintage that I used in my crease. And I'm just going to dab that on the end of the shimmer shade where it meets with the matte shade. And I'm going to create kind of like an ombre between the shimmer and the really deep plum burgundy kind of matte shade. I'm just going to go back and forth between my brushes just to get the perfect seamless blend. And now with the same brush I've been using, the M456, I'm going to go back in to the shade up here called Bittersweet and apply it right into my outer V. I'm 
And this we're applying a touch of vintage. Now I'm going in with this kind of like flat top pencil brush. This is the Morphe X Jaclyn Hill JH38 brush. I'm just going to be dipping into this super dark brown shadow called Coco. And I'm just going to apply that like right directly into the outer V of my eye. And I'm just going to apply just a touch just so it's really dark on the outer corners. Now just using the M456 brush, I'm not picking up any additional shadow. I'm just going to blend that cocoa shape out a bit. So I'm actually not going to do that wing liner thing I was going to do before because I'm really liking the way that this is looking and I don't know if it will be a bit much with that. I'm just going to save it for another look or like another time I use this palette. I did really really want to use this Tiffany blue shade but literally everyone has been using the shade so I wanted to do something a little bit different which is why I use that white shimmer on the lid instead but the next time I use this palette I'm so dipping into that Tiffany blue shade because I'm obsessed with it and I really want to use it and especially also this shade slime looks so bomb so I'm excited to use those two shades I so definitely will be doing another tutorial with this palette so stay tuned because I'm in love with this palette so far like those shadows blended so so amazingly and look how pigmented they are just looks bomb so i'm just going to quickly clean up underneath my eyes or also i didn't get any fallout which is incredible and um yeah i'm just going to quickly clean up just under my eyes anyway and just on the edge of my eyes as well just so i can do my face makeup but i will be leaving a little gap here so when i smoke out my lower lash line it blends in with the upper shadow seamlessly like I'm just going to leave it like that because I don't want too much of a sharp edge. I really want it to be like a smoky shadow. Okay, so now we are moving on to the face makeup. So I'm going in with my Smashbox Photo Finish Foundation Primer. And don't forget to apply some to your neck as well. Because every product you apply on your face, including skincare products, you should apply to your neck as well. Okay, so I was actually just thinking it would have looked so good if I had done from the white shimmer shade into the Tiffany blue shade Dream in the cut crease and then gone into the matte shades. But because I was planning on doing that wing kind of thing, I didn't do that. Otherwise, that would have looked really good. Or even use that bright yellow daisy shade as the transition shade instead of the one I used because I didn't want to use too many colors that's why i didn't use the yellow shade but now that i didn't end up doing that wing could have done other things with this look to make it a little bit more different and out there it's all good i'm going to be doing more looks with this palette anyway so this is still a really bright look so now i'm going in with my colourpop no filter liquid foundation in the shade fair 35 and just applying this all over my face with my black damp beauty blender Now to conceal, you guys probably already guessed it, I'm going in with my Tarte Shape Tape in the shade Fair Beige. And of course, again, blending it out with my black damp beauty blender. And now with my RCMA No Color Powder, I'm just going to bake underneath my eyes, on the bridge and sides of my nose. And I'm just going to bake my laugh lines as well. Now while that is baking, I'm going in with my ColourPop No Filter Sheer Pressed Powder in the shade Fair and just setting the rest of my face with a big fluffy brush. Now I just quickly wiped away the bake and now I'm going to be jumping into contour. So I'm going in with my Anastasia Beverly Hills contour kit and picking up this shade here called Fawn just to contour my entire face. You always want to contour your jawline as well, especially if you want to make it look more chiseled because it gives it a little bit of a shadow. So um, that's just a little tip if you don't contour your jawline. And now with a smaller brush, this is the Morphe M139. I'm just going to contour my nose. And now I'm just going in with a tapered brush just to blend out the nose contour. And I used this brush to wipe away my bake before. 
so it's still got a little bit of powder so it makes it blend in more seamlessly now i'm going in with my anastasia beverly hills rosewood bronzer and my morphe m177 brush just to bronze up my face of course This bronzer is so pigmented, so be careful with how much you go in with because a little bit goes a long way. Now going back in with my powder brush to blend out the bronzer so there is no harsh lines. Now I'm going to be going in with highlight, so I'm just going to quickly grab my Morphe Continuous Setting Mist and spray my Morphe X Check on Hill JH09 brush real quick. And then for highlight, I'm going in with this ColourPop Flexitarian Super Shock Cheek. And this is such a blinding highlight, you guys. And always above the brown on the forehead. And now with my finger for my nose and cupid's bow. And I'm just going to go in with my damp beauty blender. Going with a tiny bit of the RCMA powder. And I'm going to just bake underneath my contour and along my jawline. Just so I can get a really snatched jawline and just snatched face. And just while that's baking, I'm going to move on to blush. So you guys can probably guess again what product I'm going to go in with for my blush. And it's just going to be my ABH Peachy Love Blush Trio. I'm picking up this shade on the end called Nectarine. And of course, applying it with my favorite brush to do so, which is the Morphe X Jack on Hill JH Basic Brush. And I'm going in with this tapered brush to wipe away the bake. I'm just going to blend out my cheeks. So now let's move on to the lower lash line. So I'm just going in with this brush from the Fenty Beauty Galaxy Collection and picking up the small side and picking up the shade Bittersweet and just smudging that along my entire lower lash line. Now with this Joseph Colors brush from the eyeshadow palettes, I'm picking up this fluffier tapered kind of side and I'm going to be picking up the shade here vintage that I used in my crease and I'm just going to smoke out my lower lash lines and now with the same brush I'm going in with the shade I used as my transition again just to further smoke out my lower lash line I'm just connecting it to the top shadow I'm really trying to bring this eyeshadow down as far as possible because I really want it to be like super smoky. And I'm going in with the shade Coco and just an angled brush just to stamp it on the very outer end of my lower lash line. Now I'm not spraying any fix plus on my brush but I'm going back in with the brush I used to apply Icy to my lids and I'm just going to go back in with Icy just to highlight the inner corners of my eyes and my brow bones. And now back in with my E23 brush to blend out that brow bone highlight. So now I'm just going to quickly set my face using the Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. So now because I'm so hungry, I'm just going to go quickly eat something because I'm really hungry. And I'll be back to finish off with the lashes and all. Alright, so now I'm back and yes, I look a little bit different because I just applied my falsies real quick. Off camera, I just applied my Benefit Bad Girl Bang Mascara to my top lashes. And I just applied my Lily Lashes in the style Carmel because they get thicker towards the ends. So I feel like it really helps glam up like half cut creases even more because you've got the super dark shadow on the outer corners of your eyes and these lashes just really suit that kind of look and then you can still see the shimmer shade at the front because the lashes are shorter and more wispy towards the front so that's that i'm going to just apply my mascara to my bottom lashes now and just real quick i'm just gonna grab my pencil brush and just comb through the brows just to Get rid of any powder that may have fallen onto them while I was doing my makeup and then even just retouch them a little 
bit. So now I'm just going to be aligning my lips with my Kylie Cosmetics Dolce K Lip Liner. And I'm just going to apply my MAC by Patrick Star Peachy Peter Lipstick to my lips. So I'm just going to quickly go change my top and then I'm going to apply some gloss. So I will be right back. I don't want to mess up my look or my lips or anything by applying gloss before getting changed. But I don't want to get in anywhere so I'll be right back. So now I'm going in with my Kylie Cosmetics Gloss in the shade So Cute and I want to try her new high glosses so bad but I haven't had the chance to get them yet. But um, yeah, I'm just going in with this gloss now. I'm just going to clean up my lips. Okay, so I ended up um, changing my top and putting my hair in a bun because it just wasn't vibing the way the other top was looking in photos and my hair was just a bit of a mess so I just put it in a bun. I don't know if it even looks any better right now but that's how we're rolling with right now. So yeah that is it for this video. I really hope you guys liked it. Personally I love, love, love this palette. I kind of think that I should have done something more creative. Well I was planning on doing that line I think that I was telling you guys about which I didn't end up doing but I should have at least done something else. But it was a last minute decision anyway to not do that liner, so. Um, but yeah, I'm so excited to use this palette again. I'm really impressed with these shadows. I haven't used BH Cosmetics shadows in like uh, five, four or five years. So, wow, that's a while. So um, yeah, I was really excited to use these. I think the shadows worked amazingly. They were so pigmented, blended out so easily. And hold on, let me just see you guys out a bit. And the shimmer shadow on my lid didn't even transfer and that always happens with me. Shadows always transfer. So I'm really happy that it actually didn't this time. And yeah, I don't know if it's because of the formula of the eyeshadow or something. I'm not sure. But Daisy, you did an incredible job. I'm so excited to keep using this. There are so many looks I want to do. So yeah, and again, I'm obsessed with the whole vanity mirror concept i think it's such a dope idea and yeah that is it for this video if you guys liked it please give it a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe down below if you are new to my channel and also let me know in the comments down below any other videos you'd like to see from me next and yeah that is it for this video so i will see you in my next one